Well, I think... Uh, I'll be very optimistic about the trend that China, I think, has been on the right track, generally speaking. It is becoming ever more open, and um, there are many people who are very open-minded. The other very important thing is just what I mentioned that house churches are very important, are increasingly important for the younger generation, especially in urban areas, in cities, for college students, for, you know, for young uh, professionals. They, I think some of them have found the house church to be their spiritual home. I think I can say that house church is providing kind of, uh, you know, social university, social mm -hmm. education for these young, young people. Mm -hmm. What I'm most pessimistic about is that I don't know how long China will become, you know, a truly free, open society. It is still a very big question mark for me mm -hmm. and for many of my friends. I'm much more optimistic than being pessimistic about China's future mm -hmm. because I've already seen some very promising trends happening in China. And one of them, I think the most important of them is is the, the phenomenon of house church. I think it, it is the, the single most important atmosphere or phenomena I've seen in my life mm -hmm. because it is a completely new organization in China. Because in the past, China only had, had you know, government controlled education mm -hmm. or very very grassroots education, mm -hmm. but we need a kind of independent civil society, mm -hmm. and I think the house church is just doing this job.